Now I'm going to move on to uh, Roman capitals, uh, foundational hand capitals. And the first thing we need to know is that these capitals are ruled to a height of seven nib widths. Now I've already ruled up, but just to prove to you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nib widths. Okay, so that's the height for these capitals. Now you can already do um, several of them because you're just doing larger versions of the lowercase, such as the O. But the one I want to start off with, first of all, is the I, which is very simple. And come into the stroke. Oops, pen won't work. and out at the other end like that. Now, <clears throat> these are the terminal strokes and this is what we would call an informal capital I. To make a semi-formal capital I, we would go into the stroke like this, starting at 30 degrees, a short flag coming across like that, straight down again till we reach the bottom and a short flag out of the other side so that would be a semi-formal capital and then finally we would do a formal capital which is a straight line all the way down and then a very short bar across top and bottom to indicate uh, an impression of the Roman serifs. So formal and uh, semi-formal, formal and informal. So let's start, we've done the eye, I'm going to stick with uh, informal but you can use these different serifs if you wish so the next obvious one to do is the H and this try and practice this proportion this is a, a medium width of letter and the crossbar should come on in the optical center which is actually slightly above the uh, actual center but we won't go into that now um, so that's the first two that you can pretty much already do. Then, of course, there is the O. The O should be as circular as possible, obviously. There's an O. So that's straightforward. It's more difficult to do them at a lighter weight letter with more nib widths. But uh, persevere. Now I can do the C. Or actually, why don't I do the Q? Because the Q is simply adding a tail to the O. So that's easy enough. Now, I'll do the C. It comes round in that crescent moon again. And the top can be very slightly 
flattened out. Okay. That's too narrow. Make it rounder, please. <laughs> 